happenstance and I'm Kendra and this here is Peachlet, my Fabry doppelganger and she's here with me today to help pick my fair projects. Now today is the day when I do have to turn things in because you know how life goes but most of the projects were actually already done in my house and just need to be gathered as it is and at this point most of them are completed and just need some like end finishing touches done. So Peachlet is going to help me decide which order to do all of that sprucing in. And if I don't get it all done, I guess they're just not all going to go. So we're going to give her a spin, pick a clip. The clips each have numbers. They correspond to items on a list I have made of things that I would like to be able to enter to open class for my county fair. You ready to spin? And we will see which project we're going to go and finish to take to the fair. Alrighty. Should we do somersaults this time? Okay, somersaulting. She's so good at these. I am not nearly as good. She's so quiet when she does them. I make lots of noise when I somersault. Okay, this one. What number do you think it is, Peachlet? What number do you think it is? The number is 10. Let's go and find number 10. Okie dokie, so looking here on my list, number 10 is a crocheted sweater. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. I finished it just the other night, and actually, last night, two days, well, I guess one day before I actually have to turn it in, I finished sewing in all the ends and sewing on the button. So let me go and grab it so that you can see my sweater. So here we have my Keldon cardigan. I guess I can put it on. It's really stinking hot, though, so... This is love, people, that I'm putting this on right now. So this is the Keldon Cardigan, which is a pattern from Heidi May of the Velvet Acorn. And it has a buttonhole. I know it does, because I put it in there myself. Okay, there's one buttonhole for this giant button that I've had forever in my collection. So, this is interesting, because this was actually originally a Let Peach Lit Pick project. She picked it for me when I went to see my dad in April. She picked it for me, or she picked this yarn for me to make a different cardigan. However, when I went to make that cardigan, I realized that the pattern did not have a large enough bust measurement to fit me, and so I was gonna have to do mathing, and I still then wouldn't know for sure that it would fit. But I've been really, really happy with the velvet acorn patterns being large enough for somebody who is not tiny. So they actually have bust measurements that go up beyond 50, which is awesome. Um, this is not even the biggest size. There's one size bigger than I made this. It might have been two sizes bigger. One size, I think. But I did make it a size bigger than it called for for me because I wanted to make sure it fit, and it totally did. Now, there was a point when I was making it where I was a little worried it was not going to fit, that it was too big, but then you put the neckline on and everything squooshed in and it was lovely and this is made using some mill and yarn I had gotten from Joanne so it's a nice light sweater I can already tell there's like lots of little holes in it it is a little sweltering right now but that's okay so here is the back and I think I've got the neck all figured out but I think it'll be I think it'll I think it'll judge all right um I love it on me as like I'm a person so that makes me happy I had made a few other cardigans and sweaters this year. I was also, if I did not get this finished, I was going to enter the Bracken cardigan that I made my son for Christmas. It's a brown hooded cardigan. Um, actually, let me grab it real quick. So this is my son's Bracken cardigan. It's got this really nice, I just really like the way the hood and stuff fits. And I had considered entering this one because the stitching turned out really nice and even, except the bottom curls a little um, with the amount I've washed it and stuff because he wears this a lot when it's not 100 some degrees out. Where were we? I exhausted my camera so batteries all recharge and everything. So anyways, the other issue with this sweater was the buttons. I used fingering weight yarn that matched the buttons I chose for green and they're super functional for my kid because they're on really tight and like I tied a bunch of knots in the back and like they're really good he can button it on and off. However, I since I wanted to put in good tight knots in a bunch of them I just did it like this and I trimmed the yarn real close but I didn't weave in the ends and stuff so like that's not great for judging purposes but it's perfect for functionality. So, anyways, I'm glad that I finished my Kelding cardigan because 
this Brecken cardigan, while the stitching is super even and I think they might have liked it, it uh, it's just not going to work for that. So, now that I've showed you something that I am turning in and something that I've chosen not to turn in, on the screen next to me there is a link to some of the past things that Peach has picked for me as well as the other things she's picked for me to do for the fair. And there's a link to subscribe if you'd like videos from me and Peach. Let's just pop into your feed every time they come out. And in the description box below is a link to my Patreon page as well as my online shop if you're interested in project bags and things. So I will see you all next time. Bye!